Mm. Okay. But I did just have a, a broccoli soup, actually. That's... <laughs> Sounds Bloody awful. hell, that does that sound pretty disgusting. terrible. Does that, it sounds like you got nothing else in the fridge yeah. and you can't be bothered going to the shops, but I know that you can be bothered going to the shops. So what? what <laughs> well, how do we land on broccoli soup? <laughs> of all of the things to you could eat, I mean, you could have anything. You could have anything. Got broccoli soup. Well, look, there's a long, boring story behind it. So oh. Friday night, I was like, mate, you know, can I just take the lot? And he's like, go for it. So I've got two kilos or plus of broccoli. Right. Now we have to get rid of the broccoli. Yeah, it's, it's broccoli. Every dish has broccoli in it now. Yeah, I was, I was having something for lunch with broccoli in it. And now I find out yep. broccoli has a heinous effect on your your bowels. Oh, great. Oh, I, 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 the first thing I thought of when you said broccoli soup was like, that's not going to be a pleasant time at your house in the next 12 <laughs> to 24 hours. <laughs> well, I, this was frozen broccoli soup that I've reheated. The, the original broccoli soup was about a week ago. I've been eating broccoli ever since and oh my gosh. gone back to the well. It's actually not as bad as you'd think, um, but I think I have been more flatulent than I otherwise would have been. Jeez. And it I've makes me think it. of um, makes me think of the anti-aging guy. What's his name? Brian Johnson. Who's Brian Johnson? Johnson? The guy who's reverse aging. Um, he's like he eats – he has 111 pills a day. He has like a very strict meal. Here's the template. Get the pen and paper out. They yep. reckon he will live to 200. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> this, so this guy, Brian, he looks younger than his son. Look him up, Brian Johnson. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, we need, we need to get some pictures of this bad, this bad get, boy. Get Brian, get Brian, Brian Johnson, Johnson, I'm pretty sure he's one of the, be- of the Beach Boys. <laughs> Maybe. He's still very young. He I've is. got British singer songwriter. That can't okay, be right. Is it Brian Johnson? Well, Brian Johnson is was um, after the death of Bon Scott. He became the third lead singer of ACDC. Look, look up, look up, Brian um, Johnson. Brian Anti aging, young man. Okay, yeah, I've okay, got okay, him. Okay, yeah, I've got, got him. him. Got so him. he's forty five. Get and he look, out. He looks pretty schmick. He um, does, but he doesn't look younger than his son. I'm looking at a picture of them side by side. He's got a shit ton of makeup on. His son's like in the background. He looks like a vampire. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So he's apparently figured it out. Like scientifically, he has figured out how to stop aging. Whoa. So what he eats, in a, like I was listening to a podcast and he was telling the guy what he eats and it's like three teaspoons of or tablespoons of olive oil a day. Pen and paper um, out. Uh a chocolate coated mushroom, <laughs> um, <laughs> some sort of like weird pudding, I think, and and then he has like fifty six pills in the morning, and then uh, the rest of the hundred eleven later in the day, and it's all magnesium and all that ish. So I thought maybe the broccoli soup was like, I don't know, along that vein. Can I can I read you just a quick paragraph that I've just read from? Um, on this Brian Johnson anti-aging guy. Yes, please. He says, I love life. Um, Yeah. As Johnson says, whose rigid medical interventions have given him the heart health of a 37-year-old. So keep in mind he's 45. Right. uh, Heart health of a 37-year-old, skin of a 28-year-old, and lung capacity of an 18-year-old, according to his team of doctors. He says, if we can dramatically show that aging can be slow and reverse, it would change everything for the human race. He adds, am I scared of dying? No. (laughs) I think you are. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Can can, can I read you something about Brian Johnson as well? It's Brian with a Y. Okay, yeah. Brian Johnson, the 45-year-old tech tycoon who wants to keep his internal organs, including his penis and rectum, functioning youthfully, enlisted 17-year-old Talmage to provide blood, blood transfusions. I'm, I'm so concerned about um, if you have to spend 14 hours a day to reverse age... What's the point in living? Then you're not really living, are you? You're just following a very strict regime that all it does is allow you to continue this for longer than what is normal. He lives till 200 and he's, and by the end he's doing 300 pills a day with <laughs> 10 of these vials, has to spend a whole day, you know, just doing stuff to stay alive. I think it's um, I think it's crazy. You, you know, he can, takes like, – so superhero you movies when um, <laughs> someone has been living for like nine hundred years, yeah, you know, and the, the like, Bible, th- in the about, Bible, they're about to, well, yeah, in the Bible, and they're about to die, 
and they're trying to and like their friend is trying to save them he's like please I'm so old. Like, please let me die. Like, I feel like that's going to be him when he's 200. He's, yes, he's going to be yes. so taxed. <laughs> yes. Yeah. When he's spending Where did that 200 come from? That's so mental. Oh, I don't know. This is a highlight of like- They're a, just like, a, if a this trend podcast. continues, yeah. you'll have the lung capacity of a six-year-old in five <laughs> years. I'm like, is that a good thing? <laughs> he can't hold his breath at all. <laughs> What if he takes it too far and he goes full Benjamin Button and becomes a little baby? Then he's really fucked yeah. it, the anti-aging thing. Well, for fuck's sake, I'm a baby. I'm useless now. <laughs> yeah, so he uses his own son as a blood boy. Oh, that's that's another level. He is a vampire. No. How creepy, man. If my dad was like, man, can I have your blood? I'd be like, could you just Could you just, just die? Not- <laughs> I don't know if I'm comfortable. I'm like, waiting just, for him to like, die from like a car accident or something. Surely this is where it ends. <laughs> no, they'll bring him back. <laughs> He'll have something like in his will or whatever that says you're totally allowed to do whatever to make me live again. <laughs> See, that's, it's intense, isn't it? Like that's, and, uh, you can he's, imagine he's, he's already doing level. this to his son as well. You can imagine he's already given his son a pretty strict regime to follow. Oh, yeah. Vials of of his own blood back into himself. Tr- oh, he'll be keeping his yeah. He'll be keeping his his blood bag boy super oh healthy. <laughs> so because he reportedly <laughs> screened anonymous donors as inverted commas blood boys to ensure he was receiving blood from a person with an ideal body mass index oh who gosh. lived a healthy lifestyle and was free of disease. Oh my gosh! So there you go. There's the blueprint for everlasting life. You just need a, people's blood. You just need young blood. 